Yeah, 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 yeah. You cooking with P. Yeah, 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 yeah. You cooking with P. Yep. You cooking with P. You cooking with P. Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome back to Cooking with P. Okay, so probably about a month ago, my oldest daughter, Alicia, she was bringing some stuff into the house. And it was in a, like a plastic container. And it said banana chips. She got it from Kroger. So, um, so you know, sometimes late in the evening, you want a little something sweet to eat. And I was looking around, you know, we didn't have any cookies, we didn't have no cake, no pie. We didn't have anything like that. So I looked on the countertop right over here and it was like banana chips. I said, hmm, I never had those before. So this container was about this big. Man, I sat on the couch and started watching some Netflix. And next thing I know, man, it was about this much left. I said, oh my gosh. So, uh, so I put them away. Of course, I heard about it the next day. Got a text. Dad, I bought those banana chips for me so I could have a healthy snack. I said, okay. So, next day I was at Kroger. I said, let me find these banana chips so I can replace the ones I ate of hers. So, I bought her a container and I bought myself one. And, man, those things are really good. So, I said, hmm, we should be able to make these at the house since we have an air fryer. So, um... So went on YouTube, looked around a little bit, and uh, found a couple of recipes. And then I saw a recipe for air fried plantain chips. Now, to be honest with you, I've never had plantain before. So uh, I've seen them in the stores, uh, but that's just something that, you know, growing up, my mom never bought any plantains that I know of. So I said, well, let me try those. They're a little bit bigger than a regular banana. And supposedly it makes for a healthy snack. So um, the other day I was at the farmer's market and I got these three plantains. So I'm going to try to see, um, see how it comes out. So uh, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is uh, take the peel off of these. So, uh, all right. So. Everything I seen was to cut your hands off. Mm-hmm. And I don't really know how to use this thing. I'm, maybe I should go the other way. Okay. Alright. Doing a little something something now. I've used this on a couple of potatoes before, but as you can see, I'm not very proficient at it. I think it kind of smells like a cucumber a little bit. Yeah, so I think the idea here, because normally I would just peel it off. But I think the idea behind this was to maybe leave a little bit of the peel on. To maybe leave like a little crispy ring around the actual chip. <clears throat> but we'll see in here in a little bit. So, <clears throat> as you see, this is going to take a minute. Yes. <clears throat> Take me a good six minutes to do all three of these. 
We'll see. Now, apparently, plantains come from the Caribbean and some African countries. And to be honest with you, I'm sure that they are prepared in different kinds of ways, unknown to my culture here in America. But sure there's plenty of things to do with plantains on YouTube. So this is kind of a bigger one. Like I said, it smells kind of like a cucumber. Kind of. Probably if, if I closed my eyes, came here and with this big old nose, I say that's a cucumber right there, but I would be wrong. No prize for the home team. plantains for about 69 cents a pound so I didn't make a really huge investment in it it probably about a pound each so it's probably two something got it at Monday moon which is a farmers market here in Atlanta they got some exotic stuff over in their produce department that I have never seen before. this move I would have been done five minutes ago. Putting, of course, I had to screenshot this because I let's see, the, uh, two teaspoons, one teaspoon of salt, so one teaspoon of salt. Turmeric. 
two. Now we're going to stir this in a little bit. Kind of looks like a darker version of orange juice. all mixed up pretty good and then we're going to put our plantains in here I'm going to add a little bit more water just so we can cover the whole thing Good enough. Okay, so we've got a plantain soaking. So we're supposed to let those soak for 10 minutes. And then we'll dry them and get them ready for being sliced. So I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. and we see you guys okay so you can hear the timer going off so let me go ahead and turn that off because that's a little annoying okay so I got this I don't even know what it's called I picked it up at Walmart when I was making my own potato chips so it's basically a slicer so you kind of want these to be thin it's got like three gauges on it so uh, we want to pat dry these plantains, put them here, shake off the excess. slice them straight across but I like to slice it diagonally makes a little bit bigger of a snack so the first one I'm gonna do kind of diagonal and let's see what we come up with They say the thinner you slice them, the crispier they get. And that's definitely the effect that I'm looking for. We'll do the first batch really thin. And then if I burn them up, I might have to go to a little bit thicker slice. what it looks like looks pretty groovy so far pretty groovy I'm 
gonna go ahead and turn on my air fryer because I need I need to let it preheat to 350. She'll holler at you, boy. All right, so we almost got one plantain done. So now, recipe actually calls for coconut oil, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna use some extra virgin olive oil. I think I said three tablespoons. See if I can find a tablespoon. This looks like a tablespoon. Yeah. back to the phones. Half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of turmeric. element is up there 
says 10 minutes. I'm going to turn the light on so I can keep a look on them. I'm going to turn the light on so I can keep an eye on them. But uh, we've got the timer set for 10 minutes and um, we'll let it do what it do. All right, we'll see you right back. Okay, so my timer just went off and the machine shut down. It's a little hot, a little hot. We're going to do that same thing again. We're going to get these nice and saturated for batch number two. I may reduce the cooking time down to nine minutes because these are a little brown. that I really didn't grow up with. I don't remember my mother having turmeric in her spice rack. All right, so we're gonna lay down batch number two. fryer blows air so we'll move these chips around a little bit that's normal that's why it's an air fryer all right looking good looking good looking good four trays just on one plantain. Slide those in there. Uh, the temperature. should be hot enough still. It may still have to get up to 350, but that shouldn't take very long. So, with that being said, I got my work cut out for me because I have to slice these two. I got probably two more trays here. So, figure four trays per plantain. So I'm gonna have 12 trays of this. Hmm, decent little snack, decent little snack. So, um, anyway, I've already done the taste test. They did 
come out crispy. Nice little snack. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Cause all I got to do is finish these up and I'm done. So no more for y'all to see. So remember, you're cooking with pea. Air fried plantains. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Love you guys. Peace. PJ TV.